Lachance steps in, like I mentioned, hitting over 400 coming into the game. Power numbers supported as well. He has just been an all-around player, and he gets it started on the right foot. Cracks this one to left, fading back. It's off the wall. Unable to get there is Strom into second, sliding with a leadoff double is Kevin Lachance. It's the inning, and then that 10-pitch at bat. Ended on an out, but still more pitches you want to throw to a hitter. Popped up right field. Coming back is past the tempo. Coming over from second is no. Did he make the catch? It's behind the wall. He did. Tagging and scoring is Lachance. It's one to nothing. MBC with a one nothing lead here in Lowell. Callahan, long look in. Comes to the set. Kicks and deals. Got him looking. Strike three. Pass the tempo. Sent down. And the Riverhawks will head back out. We've played one full one nothing UMBC. Callahan to the plate. Got him looking. Strike three. Third strike out of the game. All looking. Corey Callahan has fooled the Riverhawks through two. Ryan kicks and deals. Hit into left on a line. Sharp going back. That one is off the scoreboard and gone. A frozen rope home run. From Hunter Dolshin, it's two to nothing. Tell you, off the bat, that ball did not look like it had enough. It's hard to judge the wall there because the scoreboard does not count. The scoreboard's a home run, but that ball looked to me like it didn't have enough, but kept its legs and for Dolshin, his eighth home run of the year. All day rained this morning. 2-2 from Ryan. Lined up the middle, a base hit. Sotolsky rounds first. That ball rolls. Sliding in center field is Strom. He can't cut it off. Rounding second, heading to third. Swatolsky will be in there without a throw. It'll be interesting to see how they score this, but with no outs, UMBC has a runner on third base. The outer run just 90 feet away. Casali ahead 0-2. Here's Ryan. Up the middle, it is past the shortstop, an RBI single for Andrew Casali. That is his 21st RBI of the year. Look to second, here it is. Ground ball between short and third, it's going to be a base hit. Getting the windmill is Casali. The throw home, Barry has it, it's not in time. Four to two retrievers, RBI single for A.J. Wright. Dirks delivers. Swing and a miss. Strike three. He got him, and that will do it for the Riverhawks. We've played six full. It is a four to two retriever lead. Ryan delivers. Chops between the mound and third. Marchena charging throws to first. Tries to throw. Does not get it off past the tempo. Put his hands up to tell him to hold. They had no play. It's going to be an infield single for Kevin Lachance. Here's the 2-0. This time he gets it down back to the mound. Rand calls off Barry and throws it well over the head of Steve Pass. The tempo into the Riverhawk bullpen. One run is going to score. Here comes Lachance. He is safe. Didn't need to slide up to second on the air is Nauman. A costly mistake by Nick Rand, and it is six to 6-2. Here in the top of the seventh. Chopped backhanded at short. Off balance throw is not in time from Prada. It gets bypassed the tempo. That's not going to do any damage. The run was scoring anyway. And Swatolsky was well saved. He will stay at first as it takes the big hop off the netting. Makes it 7-2. to two. Casali looks back to second, delivers. Barry takes strike three. He can't believe it. Riverhawks get one, but as we make the turn for home, they trail by four, seven to three, your score. One, two, swing and a miss, strike three, back to back outs to start the inning. For Casali, approximately 30 minutes after the final pitch of this one, we will have game two of the doubleheader. Into center, coming over is Converse, he makes the catch. And that will do it. UMBC puts up three runs in the top of the seventh. Proves to be the main separation they'll get. They take game one of this doubleheader seven to three.
Wozniak from the stretch, looks in for the sign, gets it, comes set, delivers the 2-2. Two -two. Grounder to first, nobody's on the back, they're going to throw home, sliding in as Savard, not in time, he is gunned down at the plate. River Hawks will switch it to runners at the corners with two outs. Four of his ten, that one's lined right back at him, knocked down at second base by Prada, he can't glove it. That was scary. That came right back at Zirnax. It's going to be a base hit for Anthony Gatto. Hard shot down the third baseline. That ball's fair and will roll all the way to the wall. One run's going to score. They're waving Gatto home. Here's the throw. It is cut off before it gets to the plate. Two RBI double for Hunter Dalshin. And a 2-1 to one UMBC lead. Swing and a miss, strike three. Savard retired on three pitches. Swing and a miss, strike three. Prada not happy with himself. Ground ball up the middle, could be two. Carroll steps on the back, fires to first, and that will do it. 6-3 double play. And the River Hawks ball in game two, two to one. They win. We'll go to Conrad Wozniak, the loss to Steve Zirnax, and the save to Patrick Phillips. It